AXA Liaison Office in Houston, uh, Mr. Yasufumi Yamamoto. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, it is my great pleasure to participate in this uh, mission overview briefing. Um, I would like to apologize for that Mr. Tetsuro Yokoyama, who was supposed to participate in this briefing, who cannot come to Houston this time. This flight is the second step for keyboards assembly on orbit and will be very important step for JAXA to establish a capability to support the utilization in pressurized environment. Uh, today I would like to briefly talk about uh, configuration of uh, pressurized module, operations and utilization plan, Japanese astronaut activities and uh, uh, flight uh, operations team status. Uh, first of all, uh, Kibo experimental logistics module pressurized section uh, called JPL in operational name has been on orbit and in good shape uh, since the previous flight STS-123 in March. Uh, please show the first chart. Uh, the Kibo pressurized module called JPM in operational name is designed as a multi-purpose experimental laboratory and equipped with a lateral port on uh, the inner side to bus the Kibo logistics module, JLP, and remote manipulator system on the port and cone to handle an uh, article around the external platform in combination with airlock, an airlock on port side to facilitate equipment transfer between inside and outside, mainly for services to the external platform. The logistics module will be relocated during this flight from current temporary position in harmony to the pressurized module or lateral dinner spot and will be open for use. The remote manipulator system called the uh, Kibo robotic arm uh, will first be utilized during 2JA flight to pick up payloads on external pallet and attach them to the external platform. Uh, the checkout will be start during the flight with partial deployment and will be completed prior to the 2JA flight. Uh, next picture, please. Okay. This is an uh, internal view of Kibo from Harmony. The airlock, as you see on the picture, will be checked out and utilized sometime later. Uh, the pressurized module accommodates 23 racks inside in six rows. 12 out of 23 are for utilization purpose and uh, 10 of them are allocated for experience racks at the forward and aft wall. At present, the pressure module hardware are stored in the canister, but just brought to the launch site, I think yesterday, uh, waiting for the orbiter arriving soon. Once on orbit, uh, in, uh, initial checkout will be completed during the flight to ensure basic functions to maintain stable condition. After the flight, we will check out all functions to support utilization to meet the uh, requirements of the utilization plan. Okay, now I would like to address near-term overview of utilization plan. Uh, next picture, please. As you know, uh, two Japanese payload racks, Saibo rack and Ryutai rack, will be brought from the logistics module into the pressurized module during this flight. Saibo means cell and butai means fluid in Japanese. Uh, once we check out the pressurized module system functions and establish capabilities to support internal payload operations in about a month, we will proceed to set up and uh, check out the two payload racks to validate functions to support sciences. 
our first stage research plan for a couple of years is mostly along with these two racks. Uh, as shown in, on the chart, the cyber rack accommodates cell biology equipment facility and clean bench to support the life science researches. The blue tie rack uh, consists of fluid physics experiment facility, solution protein crystal growth facility, and image processing unit to support microgravity sciences. Uh, image processing unit is a lab support equipment to handle video image data from the experiment. Uh, the first scientific experiment will be conducted at a fluid physics experiment facility in this August. Uh, it is called the Kawamura theme, a research on Marangoni convection. Uh, a couple of brands will follow. Uh, with regard to our partner's utilization, uh, two express racks and a Melfi a minus 80 uh, laboratory freezer will be relocated into keyboard pressurized module. Um, two US rack, uh, storage racks will be installed, one in the pressurized module and the other in the uh, logistics module. Uh, keyboard pressurized payload accommodation will be about half occupied uh, late this summer time frame. Okay. The next Japanese payload racks will be launched on the first HTV flight uh, planned in summer 2009. Uh, okay, uh, next please. As another JAXA's presence on this flight, we are very pleased to have uh, Akihiko Hoshide as one of uh, Space Shuttle crew members. He's one of the uh, latest three Japanese astronauts who began a uh, training course in 1999 and completed the NASA mission specialist course in 2006. He's one of the best knowledgeable astronauts in keyboard design and operations. Uh, since pressure's module is fairly off-roaded in launch configuration, and uh, uh, reassembly tasks on board require diligent checkout activities. And his knowledge and well-trained skill will be very much appreciated. Uh, crew training of the selected keyboard tasks have been provided in Japan, as shown on the picture. Uh, Karen Nyberg and Aki Hoshide had a training at the remote manipulator console at Tsukuba Space Center. Expedition crew Garrett Riesman and Greg Shamitov also received the similar training as well. Uh, Akihiko Hoshide will be the first Japanese astronaut to operate the Canada Arm 2 SSRMS and uh, will install a precious module at port side of Harm uh, Harmony on flight day four. As you may know, uh, JAXA announced uh, recruitment of Japanese astronaut candidates for entry from April 1st to June 20th this year. Uh, final selection will be uh, made early next year. We are looking forward to uh, receiving a lot of applications. Okay, uh, let me talk about our uh, teams at the Tsukuba Space Center. Please show the next picture. Uh, this is a scene of a keyboard mission control room when the uh, logistics module successfully installed on the Harmony dinner spot in mid-March. Uh, after the flight, reduced the number of controllers on console has uh, uh, continually monitored health and status through limited telemetry and uh, has uh, also supported periodic maintenance by crew with temporary setup of laptop computer. Uh, our flight control team has uh, participated in three rounds of joint multi-segment training simulations in April for more than 50 hours in total, or including timeline covering flight days three to six, which are the most critical and eventful days for uh, installation and the initial activation.